Hey viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strange, and welcome to Transformers Fall of Cybertron with me and Jim. Yep, there I is. made him play this game. Yes. We're going to do a run of the single player campaign. Apparently Indeed. he played it before, but only a little bit. So yeah. there's still a whole lot of mysticism around mm -hmm. everybody's favourite autonomous shape-changing robots that he has yet to discover. Yes, I have yet to discover it. I'll be honest, I'll confess, Jim, I have never watched anything to do with Transformers. I don't know anything about it. Good. But I'm interested to see what this is all about. So we're going to throw ourselves in and see what's going on here. Now, like you said, I have played a bit of this when I was just testing it, but okay. I did not get very far into it. Okay. So, um, you yeah. sure you want to do on two? Sorry? Oh, difficulty two, right. Um, yeah. Okay. Go on. Let, let's let's not be babbies about it. Let's it, go for. It's your death need. wish. Okay. <laughs> well, if you're lucky, you know you might get to see some proper uh, red rage at some point okay. if uh, I start getting into areas where I'm fucking up and things like that. Ah, there yes. it is. The Ark, the ship of the Autobots. Yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of things that you'll need to explain. Well, I know who Bumblebee is at least. One minor request, can we disable the subtitles in a little bit? I hate seeing subtitles when I play games. Uh, the only reason I've enabled them is just because I've had to balance out the volume settings, um, just so it's not the in-game volume's not overriding our commentary. But the problem is I can't really hear the voices without the subtitles. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> like, you have your volume input from the microphone to maximum? You what? <laughs> like, I've got yeah, I've got the recording sound level on that fairly high okay. up, but it's just because this is such a very basic kind of setup that I've got here. It's uh, kind of difficult sometimes for me to actually kind of get the balance right. What you could always do is increase the speaker volume a little. Just I a could, little. but I am not a technical person, so uh, I can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> Listen Basically. to Ratchet. Yeah. This is Ratchet, the Autobots medic. Yeah. Yeah, I like those settings. They're good for me. You see, I remember this bit here, how it goes. Uh, you just shoot these guys and you shoot a load of other guys. Yep. I mean, that is a lot of the game, I'm guessing, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this, your first weapon, the Neutron Assault Rifle. It's basically a submachine gun shaped like a double uh, Gatling gun. Yeah. <laughs> So how long have you been into uh, Transformers then? Since I was a kid in the early uh, 2000s. Yeah. When I watched a few episodes of Transformers Armada, which is actually, yeah. guess what, an English dubbed anime. Mm. But so, it was uh, but it was only the first half of the show, which apparently wasn't that good. Like yeah. apparently the second half of that show was uh, quite a bit better, but I watched very little of the second half, so I grew up with the crap half. Yeah. <laughs> See. So he has watched down in there, then, ladies and Yes, but, uh, granted, when I was a kid, <laughs> but like, like that uh, adult anime stuff. No, that's not really what I'm into. Yeah. <laughs> see. Hey, Buckethead. Megatron is a Buckethead. I see. Yeah. So this is the bad guy then of the whole Transformers franchise. Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, basically the main antagonist of the whole franchise. Okay, yes. Yes. There are far, there are far more evil characters out there. But Megatron is the main baddie, basically. Okay, I see. Yeah. I mean, the you, you can't follow up on those, obviously, oh. because those uh, gladiatorial guys are sealing off that door. Ah, I see. <laughs> you have to join Ratchet. He's got a little thing that you have to deliver somewhere. That's okay. a Moleculon fuse. Okay, so... Yeah. That guy didn't have a happy ending. Yeah, those are just uh, built with a bunch of uh, random body parts. From yeah. uh, characters that you can't play as in multiplayer. In fact, the limbs actually come from uh, Zeta Prime. From uh, those red guys. Which is... Uh, basically, he was the leader of the Autobots before Optimus in the franchise of, this game, of these games then. Oh, okay. 
but he got killed in uh, the previous game, War for Cybertron, because he served as the third boss of the Decepticon campaign. So, yeah. I see. Yeah. So, basically, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're going to be um, playing as much of the single player campaign as we can. Uh, in the streams here. Yep, yeah. In these two days. But So, you know, we might be able to get through quite a bit of it at the very least, I do think. Depending yeah. on how difficult it gets. I mean, we're on the medium difficulty, as you remember. But, um, that's the thing. Just so. install the molecular and fuse. I was saying to Jim as well before, you know, depending on how difficult it gets, you never know, you may be lucky or you may get some red rage coming up at some point. So, uh, if you need a better incentive to keep watching, then uh, that's that's it. Just press those safety locks and you'll be going up. Nice. <laughs> Best way to uh, activate a lift is always to... Uh, uh, that way. Uh, yep, there's that's a nasty dude. You can't... Don't bother. Okay. <laughs> I was already kind of instinctively shooting at him. Hi, Soundwave. <laughs> Take Soundwave is another... Oh. <laughs> another Decepticon, obviously. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Right, I see, I see. Wait I for it. I must admit, the, uh, you know, environments out there do look quite nice. Yeah, but apparently some people say that compared to War for Cybertron, they're a lot flatter. Hmm. And in some cases more run down because, you know, this is when the planet is actually dying. Yeah. And we're not even in the planet right now. Okay, if you if you, yeah, if you real, if you hold shift, you can actually uh, literally just run at higher speeds. Oh, I see. I like that. I see. Yeah. See, swap firing hand. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't. Yeah. But I don't really change shooting hands because yeah. I hate that. I, I'm yeah. right-handed. I think I prefer right-handed as well. Yeah. Oop. Oh. Don't like that get in my way. Don't worry. You can also use the right mouse button to zoom in a little. Yeah, oh, I see like that, yeah. Help. A bit more accuracy. Oh. Yeah, there's an energon cube there. The health packs, which will replenish you to full health regardless of how low you are. Good. And by the way, the blue bar that's your overshield gives you a little bit of uh, protection before you start losing health. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, the actual white thing, that's, uh, that's oh, the actual health bar. <laughs> smack that guy a good nut the ass. Just smack him up the robot ass, Jim. Yeah. Oh, look out for the tow cable. Well, there's a sight you want to see. <laughs> yep. T. Jim's uh, helping himself to some food there. Yep. Yes. Okay, well, let me get a little bit uh, on a rant here. He should have said that that his transforming cog got uh, back into gear. So it's transform and, not, and roll out, not change from the roll out. Hey, Bruticus, the combined form of the Combaticons. That's five Decepticons, all military themed into one. Okay, yeah. And if you hold your right, your right mouse button, you'll actually just drive. Oh, I see what that is. You don't have to shoot those, you can just uh, sprint through oh, them. Okay, I'm <laughs> losing control. Okay, I see. And if you press Q, you'll get an extra boost. Oh, I like that. I see. Yes. Oof. Q to Nitro. Mm hmm. Let's go up here. <laughs> there we are. Oh, no, those are Autobots. Oh, right. Those are your friends for now, Autobot Titans. But when you start playing Decepticons, then you, uh... Yeah, you have to transform the yeah. robot mode. But when you're a Decepticon, then those guys are your worst nightmare. I see. <laughs> you can also interact with a bunch of these guys. Oh. What? Oh, what? Did I just press something? Shit. <laughs> I think I pressed F and then pressed a uh, different button. Hang on, we can restart from the last checkpoint. It does save automatically at places. Yeah. Not right here, for example. This is me uh, just leaning up to the keyboard right now. To get me back to where I was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so don't press F on those guys. So that's uh, messed it up, apparently. No. 
I mean, this was my idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can press E to interact with people. Oh, right. Like these guys here. Okay. Yeah, a little, uh... Don't worry, he'll make it. He's not that badly wounded. But we're stuck. Here's your here comes your first heavy weapon. The thermo rocket launcher. Yep, spoilers. Piece of advice. Heavy weapons will have a yellow uh, glow, so we so they also have differently designed ammo clips. Right. So they're distinct, not just uh, in coloration, but also the shape. Wait for them to lock on a little. It's like lock on Panzerfaust. Yeah. I see. Christ alive. Let's get this guy out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? Let me actually do this bit. Ah, are you taking over the playthrough, are you? Huh. It is a joint effort, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> I got this, don't you worry. Oh, if, if the stripes from your crosshairs don't become red, you don't have to shoot them. They, I guess they die automatically. Yes. Like, you can also get up a little close and personal mm, yeah. and just melee them. Nope, th those. Your real priority is over there. Oh, those right. are the guys shooting at you. No, those those are Autobots, you traitor. I was just facing these guys, and then Jim goes, oh, yeah, they're over there. You <laughs> do they're, oh, those there guys. you dipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's going like, over there. And I'm like, where? <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you're like James May. You, you have a... Uh, you have a lost sense of direction. By the way, in this room, you actually see something a little uh, oh, funny. Yep. You're in full health. You see this dude here who's uh, trying to... He's going through spare limbs, seeing which one actually fits his uh, arm. Yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, but they just don't want to quite lock in. I see. Oh, wait. Hang on. This is how you do it. Oh, I see. Look at Jim here, coming in, putting his pro skills, putting me to shame. God damn. <laughs> Better get some tea. Ugh. Yep. There we go. He's gonna get me going. The rest is, is basically just a cutscene. All right. There he is. Who was that again? Megaphone? That was Optimus, oh, the, right. who, threw, who was literally thrown. Megatron's oh, the I spiky see. dude with the purple glow. I see, yeah. Obviously, crawl. In your skin. These wounds, they will not heal. Weapon from the last game, by the way. Oh, right. Yeah, I had no idea what you were on about the there. <laughs> yeah, that gun yeah. that Megatron just grabbed was, that, was literally copied from the last game. Oh, see. I feel like that was one of two turret guns that you can... That have very limited ammo, they can you know, that you can only carry around for a little bit. He died. No, just uh, <laughs> wounded. <sighs> well, there you go. So that's uh, chapter one, I take it. Yep. With yeah. the opening, uh, with the opening cutscene with Optimus delivering his epic well, monologue. I see. Delivered by Peter Cullen.
Jim here is literally doing the one thing that you're not supposed to do when you're recording, but <laughs> which is eating, but yeah, we don't care. Six Earth days before launch. I reckon it's that guy's voice. Was that, uh... Uh, uh, Jim okay. Ward. I think he's also a newsreader. Huh. Has he been in any other games or anything? I don't know. His voice just seems really familiar to me. Jetfire was that the voice from Jetfire. That that airplane guy is definitely in quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> That's Troy Baker. Who? I don't actually know who that, that is. That, 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 there's also a funny Easter egg if you go around the back here. Right. Well, not so much funny, but a nice nod, because one of Optimus's signature weapons is a big axe. If you uh, knock that little bit of debris, you can actually uh, see a hologram of, of his axe from the previous game. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see, we're about to come up to uh, the 20 minute marks. Oh! And I saw an audio log. Yeah, this thing? Yeah, you can collect those too. Just want to move that there, so otherwise it's not on the mass map. That was Grimlock. I would suggest hold off with uh, picking up the Path Blaster. Because what I wanted to say is, well, not only is Grimlock's voice actor attending to TF Nation in a couple of days, to which I'm heading, but I think it's also a pretty good time to wrap up episode one. No, no, we're doing 30 minute episodes here. No, no, okay. no, no go for longer. Go to about half past. Yeah, 20 minutes, I feel like we're not making much progress. Um, yeah, let's keep going for a bit longer, yeah. Okay, huge yeah. as warp cannon shelling the arc. By the way, that thing, that's a very fun secret. Uh, see? <laughs> Hmm. Transform and roll out, buddy. I know that sounded cringy. Yes, it did. <laughs> I'm not that good of a leader voice actor, I suppose. Yeah. Don't run! <laughs> He's giving you traffic directions. Oh, keep right. driving! Just keep driving, keep driving. That guy is uh, very poorly rendered. He'll just die uh, there. He was made to die. Oh, I see. And just keep going, keep going. Don't. Nice. Oh, there's a case there with uh, money in there. What is it? A uh, little on the other side there. Uh -huh. uh, there. Uh, you see. can uh, just melee that. I said melee. <laughs> Whoops. There you go, 300 bucks. Or rather 300 shards as they say it. Just keep driving, keep driving. Christ alive. What are you, me, when I start rushing things? Jim, I'm new to this game. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Okay. But it's a bit laggy at times. I don't know where that is. Nope. Tra transform and stay on the hilltop. You gotta snipe these guys. There's also a couple there. Oh, that, there all the purple go. dudes. Got that going. Yes. Yeah. And this isn't even the actual sniper rifle. You can snipe a few, and then you can maybe take out the rest with the uh, with the eclipse rockets, which is your vehicle mode weapon. If you have a truck mode. Do I have truck mode? Yeah, you, okay. you can you can transform obviously in, into a truck when you're playing as Optimus. And basically, uh, truck uh, formers, as you can call them, or destroyers, as they're listed here, they have a standard vehicle weapon called the eclipse rockets. Go ahead and give him a try. Oh, no. Yeah, it takes a little while. Or you can just uh, drive on into them at speed if you're lucky enough. There's also a guy behind you. I would say leave none of these Decepticons alive. Don't worry, there's uh, there's an Energon cube in the base. Good. Reload that, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Doing some of the work for him. You know, I'm a casual gamer, Jim. Not a pro. 
Ah, uh, you can just uh, transform and uh, walk. Yeah, that's a lot. You knew that I was about to say it. Yes. <laughs> I know that Jim's about to start. Nothing, nothing here. Do not panic. Just a minor security caution. I think I remember this bit, to be honest. Is it a goal? Yep. Primus, aka God of uh, Transformers, the creator. Sending the Optimus is giving him a look to say, Bill, get your skanky hands off me. No, no. A whole bunch of little rooms where you can go into, and a whole bunch of guys you can talk to. Uh, like, uh, yeah, like you can talk to that guy who's doing who's basically the next one. No. Basically, an electrician. Also, that guy there you can talk to. If you're uh, on the other side of that box, that is. Oh, right. Okay. He glitches out a little. He's supposed to say, good to have you with us, Optimus. Money! That guy will give you a status update on the shields. And if you want more money, if you're like me you're and you're a fucking hoarder, you can go outside and use another one of those little cranes there to get to fetch you another box. Oh god, I see. Yeah. It is. You can also talk to Sideswipe on the bridge. He's that uh, red dude with the wheels. Oh, this guy. Yep. He's talking about that drop shit. Alright. Now let's uh, keep going. Yeah, yeah. we've got control of the mouse here and I'm just holding Yeah, we're you. just uh, we're just exploring everything here. Yeah. I'll say let's load him up. Let's load him up. Yes, sir. That guy will actually fall apart uh, because he's already dead in that stasis pod. Mm, okay. That almost looks like a freaking tiki head here. <laughs> see. You want to see this guy fall apart? Yeah. Oh, there we go. God. It's a comedy timing right there. Yeah. There's Jazz and Cliff Jumper. Little cameo dude by Yeah. Ooh, that was a strange sound I just made. My throat. Want to talk to some of the patients or not? Uh, did he have anything important to say or? Uh, like, just just one line is like if they're gonna make it or there's too many of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's help the cliff jumper. Yes. Yep. We're gonna go this way then. Huh? So there's a lot going on. Also. Yep. Yes. 
Don't uh, walk with him yet. Pay for it. Box thing. Yep. T. You can also uh, go back. There's an audio log there. Oh right. Okay. So um. What weapon would you like to be fitted out with? Optimus's signature Path Blaster, the Scatter Blaster. Ooh, you, oh no way, you, you can't buy that. The Throwback Blaster, that's uh, downloadable content, and this game was obviously removed from Steam. So that's obviously a no. Or the Neutron Assault Rifle. Hmm. Which one's the best one, in your opinion? Uh, from these three, um... I would say go with the Neutron Assault Rifle. Yeah, let's go with that one then. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, keep keep the button uh, pressed and it, basically I like submachine guns more than semi-automatic pistols. Yes. Right, we're going for that Though one, realistically right? uh, my favorite primary cannon is the Riot Cannon which is actually the final new gun that you can unlock because that's the final blueprint. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what kind of heavy weapons we can get. Uh, Slingshock, suck the signature gun from Shockwave, also DLC uh, stuff, so that one's out. X-18 Scrapmaker, basically the big brother of the of the Neutron Assault Rifles. You know, both are double Gatling guns. Or shall we go exclusive with the, with the Thermo Rocket Cannon? I say stick with the Rocket Cannon for now. Yes. Different kinds of Assault Tech, Clutch, Little Useless Drone... Dimensional decimator. We're too uh, we're too poor for that, but that's basically a mini black hole grenade. Diffraction barrier, little shield, or uh, an intercooler, which actually decreases the cooldown time to use your abilities. Hmm. Okay. Um, or do you want this, the health matrix, which will double your? Uh, I say get the health matrix. Uh, I think that's what it does. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, it, it that that's something different. It uh, it, I thought it doubled your health, but no. This just completely restores it every time you interact with the Teletran terminal. Hmm. Okay. Still good. Yeah. Might as well get it. Okay. So we've got a load of upgrades just there. Yep. Yes. Uh, but now we have to wrap things up. So uh, this has been episode one of Red's playthrough with, with involved Cybertron with yes. me doing some of the work. But yes, uh, you can do your standard outro, you yes, know. Yes, uh, if you're not doing this already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description, as always. If you're also interested in seeing me do anime-related content, go check out Propagandist. Link also down below if you want to. If you uh, enjoyed the video, do leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, of course, and share the video with your friends on whatever social media pages you may be signed up to. But in the meantime, we're going to sign off now. And Hope roll out. For yep. uh, episode two. Goodbye, yep. everybody. Yep. Oh, what the hell is that noise now? Well, there's no clinking of chains. Oh, what the hell's that? What is that? What is that? It's weird really glowing. What the fuck? I don't, what is <laughs> the song? that looming out of the shadows then. Holy shit, my... I can just had a chill up my spine not be looking at that. What is that? Oh, no, my God. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, oh, look you, man. Oh, is it chasing us? Oh, yeah, shit, shit, shit. That's shit. music. Uh, here, don't tell me to get killed by this thing. That's good idea. No! Oh, oh, oh my fucking god. god! What is that? That is the fucking most freakiest shit Holy I've ever shit. seen. Okay, oh, let's have a good look at it. Is it oh, oh my mouth. god. God, it scared the crap out of me. Oh my okay, god. Okay, we can't really do anything yeah. here. Okay. Oh my, we can. Okay.